Hey, what's up, guys? Max Dream here, and welcome back to the adventure. This is episode two of our Drill Dozer Let's Play. In the last episode, we beat uh, level 1 1 of the Skulker Hideout, or the Skulker Factory. Um, and here's the training course, which is the tutorial. We didn't go through the tutorial, and I don't think there's an option to do that beforehand. And after beating that, now we're back at our own hideout, the uh, Red Dozer's Hideout. Here we could access the map, which I just showed. Uh, we could also uh, check our equipment. Right now we have a normal drill bit, normal drill type, nor first gear, 100 full health, and 177 chips. Uh, next to that, we can view all of the treasures we've gotten so far. Wow, look at all this treasure. I love it so much. No one can touch my treasure. All 31 non-existent treasures. And here we can also save our game, which I'll be doing in between episodes. Oh, hold on, gotta do something real quick, real quick. Okay, and we're back. Uh, just something I had to do real quick to make sure that this video didn't end up being ruined by audio desync. Uh, ooh, new level. Let's go to the Skulker Factory, level 2. We could have gone back to level 1 if we wanted, because that's an option. You could replay levels before the story's over, which is an interesting mechanic. Boss, don't forget that you're back to using one gear now. You're gonna have to find more gears to upgrade your drill dozer. I still don't get why it required, like, why the enemy has ge our main weapon hidden throughout the base. Here we find a, a, a Skulker Thug, and I keep doing that thing where I jump into, the, and that one I just walked into. And that one I also walked into, but that's because I thought it was going to be dead. And we keep going. And... Ooh, the Jelly Blobs! My favorite thing about the Jelly Blobs... Uh, do you see that weird yellow Jelly Blob above your head? Drill into it and then reverse your drill to fly backwards. Yeah, I, I told people about that yesterday. Or last episode. Uh, which I believe is coming out yesterday. Which I believe is coming out yesterday. Okay, it should be coming out someday for me right now, but it came out yesterday for anyone watching right now. The higher the gear you're in, the higher you'll jump. You try shifting up to the highest gear, then slam it in reverse. If only cars worked like that. Like... If you're driving and then you suddenly hit uh, switch to reverse in an instant, you just shoot backwards. That'd be terrible, but it'd be so cool to see. Uh, we need a higher gear to trigger. We'll take a return for this later. But for now, let's keep going on and keep climbing. I still I forgot to check. I meant to check what this was in the previous episode. As a matter of fact, I meant to go back in the previous episode and show off what that was. Hopefully it was nothing. I'll put on screen if it was nothing. And now we have the second gear, which I believe now allows us to go down here. I could be wrong, though. Yes. And we got our first treasure, which would be the round stone. Isn't... aren't most stones round? You found some treasure! Nothing makes thieves like us happier than finding some loot, eh? Go see your treasure collecting in the treasure room, which I talked about uh, earlier in the episode. What? Get up there. And, well, that... Wait, why am I flying a not as high? Oh! When you shift up to a higher gear while you go further, you don't go as high. You trade vertical, uh vertical height for horizontal distance. Yeah, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Shouldn't... Because that means you're going the same the same distance, just at a different... like... overall distance? You're going farther horizontally, but not as high, which means that if you were to, like, take the total distance flat, you'd be going the same distance. I'm starting to confuse myself, so if you're confused, don't worry. Oh, and we've gone past a point of no return. And this looks like a boss battle. Oh, it is a boss battle. Um, 
not these guys. Oh, bullets. Bullets. Ah, move. Why was I not drilling? Drill that way. And kill them. Kill them dead. Or I could do this instead. Don't hit me. Okay, there we go. And we keep moving. And he's brought more enemies down. Great. Just what I wanted. I always wanted enemies for my birthday. And I got enemies. I've had enemies my whole life. It, the enemies were inside you all along. That is not a good thing to say. Don't, don't take that out of context, please. The enemies were not inside you all along. And if they were, you have some serious issues. Why is your enemy inside you? Why do you let them that close to you? That just seems... You filthy animal. You're such a filthy animal. I meant to get a drink in between episodes. Ah, uh, now my throat's all ache. But enough about complaining. This is a let's play. You're not here to hear me talk. You're here to hear me talk. Well, I fell. Ow. And uh, okay. Now there we go. And if we keep going up and move through here. We go there. There we go. We go there. There we go. Yes, that's very descriptive of me. No one. Why didn't I start doing Let's Play earlier? I'm the most the most descriptive person on earth, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. We gotta find the computer room, which is where we are now. The computer room. And now we burst through these things, and you're pretty good at with that drill does of yours. But we're not dealing with common thieves here. Don't let your guard down. P try pressing B to stand up in your cockpit and glance around. That way, you can scout out the whole area around you. But basically, what they're telling you is to look in each direction, so you know what you're doing. You can look up. You can look down to see what's below you. So, so yeah, there's something below us. That's, that's not very descriptive, though. That doesn't tell us what's below us. It just tells us there is something. Actually, Drill Dozer does get a lot of love. I, I'm pretty sure there was a Drill Dozer at ADD Cube this year. Uh, that's awesome games and quick, for those of you who don't know. I was actually thinking of going to ADD Cube, but, I, but then I realized I don't really have a way to record myself playing it. But I was going to do a speedrun of the Subspace Emissary, because no one's done that at uh, ADD Cube. Not a specifically AGDQ, but uh, SGDQ is what I was going to go to. Anyways, we continue on through the store, and we find more of these uh, Shooty McShootersons. That's what we're going to call them. We're going to call them from now on. Shooty McShoot. Ow. Stop it. Stop hurting me. You're hurting me. That's not, that's not nice. Hurting me is not nice. It's not very nice. Did that bullet just disappear? Okay, bullets disappear the second they hit anything. No impact, no nothing. Just, they disappear. The end. That's, that's, that's how it works in real life, right? When bullets hit something, they don't leave an indent. They don't ricochet off. They just disappear. Like, you know, they do. Don't, don't, don't tell me I'm wrong, because I know I'm right. There's nothing you, that you could do to stop me. Oh, well... And down here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the point of this game is to get our, our red diamond back. But if I'm correct, every time we go to get it, it's always the wrong one. I could be wrong, though. Another thing I could be wrong about. I believe there are two world, uh, two levels per world, but I could be wrong and it could be three. I like I just duck under that bullet. Oh yeah, if I'm correct- oh, I was gonna say, I believe that these enemies can't hurt you as long as you're uh, drilling into them. But I was wrong, because I just got hurt by one of them. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And then there's these guys, which try to drill. All they do is look up and drill them back. And... Oh, well. <laughs> he was like, I survived! Must go in for another hit, and then ended up dying. That poor unfortunate soul. So sad, but true. And it happened once or twice or so, we couldn't pay the price. And keep on drilling, keep on drilling, keep on drilling, drilling, drilling. What do you do, you drill? If, oh, you need to get a better 
gear for that one. Uh, that would be cool if I grabbed onto it on the way down. Just, oh! Speaking of on the way down, on the way down, I ended up running into the enemy. I'm not very good at this game. I keep trying to rush through and end up getting hit by everything. You cannot damage people like that, and I just learned that the hard way. Guys, I have a drill, what are you doing? Guys, I have a drill, what are you doing? I literally just have to walk into you while pointing at you, and you'll die. They make the funniest noise when they die, though. Just... <laughs> oh. I, I can't do it. I sound like a broken reporter. Oh, look, a painting. Oh, I can't destroy it. What's this say? Nothing. It's probably a building plan. Um, what was that noise? Oh, it's one of these guys. Cool. And he set that chandelier into swinging motion, which means that uh, when I get up there... Uh, uh, yeah, that's right, I said when. You're not gonna stop me. There's no if. Oh. Well, isn't this a predicament? But this is, like, the easiest boss because of this. It's gonna take a while, but still, it's pretty easy. As long as I keep going back and forth. And now over here. Oh, you want some too? What? Well, why didn't you just ask? And you want some again? Aw, oh, you greedy little... Oh, and he's dead. And I've killed both of them. That's like the easiest boss. It's easier than the first time because you don't even have to wait. You can just jump over the rockets this time. That's so... That's so... That's great. Great, great boss design. Make the second boss of the game. Or mini boss or whatever. Easier than the first boss. Actually, have there been any games that do that? I wonder. And here's the chandelier he hit earlier. Puta! And we. S Why does the chandelier have a drill point? And now we get the third gear. And the music's different again. This music is amazing. And now I can just- Oh no, he hit this ch chandelier. So why is the other one already swinging? Anyways, oh, now we're up high. I believe that little me was terrified of this part. I may be wrong. He might have thought it was really cool. This part also reminds me a lot of- What was that stage? I think it was Mega Man X. What's the Mega Man game with the crocodile guy? I'm pretty sure it was Mega Man X. Uh, but which one specifically? X2? Or was it X1? There wasn't a crocodile in the first one. But it was that cro uh, crocodile that gave you the oil power-up, I think? I could be wrong. Or maybe that was X4. I don't know, but that part just reminds me of it, because you're climbing up uh, the side of the building, and there's not really enemies trying to stop you if, when you think about it. These enemies can electrocute themselves, if you haven't noticed, and... Uh, I am not sure if they do more damage, but you can't hit them while they're like that. Oh my god. Yes, I get it. If you hold down and press A, you can squeeze through things. And give me that health. Yeah, now I'm back up to full health. Ooh, a puzzle. Do I need to go over here for the puzzle? Or is it that I need to drill through this part? Yes, I need to drill through this part. I should have figured that out immediately, but it took me a while, because I'm not the fastest when it comes to video games. I mean, I'm pretty fast when it comes to video games, seeing as my favorite video games are Sanic the Hot Hoop. Sanic the Hot Hoop was my favorite video game character. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. I love how the music is permanently this. They come up with intricate level music and then it just goes to I can't sing since it's early morning. I haven't even eaten yet. I just woke up and realized that now's the best chance to record before uh, Lapis and I start recording for this play he's doing, which I'm not sure if we could talk about yet, but I mean we talked about it a little bit on the live stream, but not enough for it to be noticeable. Speaking of which, seven hours of fighting sands. Reached 20 viewers at one point. That's insane. Uh, and it's Lapis's birthday today, May 30th, so that's cool. 
by the time you're watching it, it's probably not. But, uh, guess what time I get out of school? May 30th. My school. And it full two after my summer camp starts. I that's hostage, I know it. But, uh, as we continue on through the level, there's some more stuff. Like here, now that we have the fully upgraded drill bit, we can boost off into the other side, maximum drill, and boom. This is, this is the puzzle game. I, I should have done this. Yeah, you're able to dodge things like that. Because I'm baller. I'm a G. I'm a baller baller G. Baller baller G. That's not a weird thing. That noise. It's a red gem. Oh, it's a red diamond. Oh, it's so sparkly. What? Have you never heard of knocking? It drives me insane when people do that. Hey, you look pretty crazy already, lady. That's Krug. He's the- oh! He! Oops! Y'all- you look pretty crazy already. He's the evil mega boss of the Skulkers. Green and purple's a good color, just not on you. That's Joker's look, not yours. Joker's gonna be pretty mad for stealing them stuff. That's a red diamond they stole for us! Don't they know your mom left it- left you with that when she died? I can't believe they would stoop that low. Only the most repulsive villain would do something like that. See, this whole game is, we're villains, but they're even worse. A villain? <laughs> ha! That's pretty rich coming from a gang of thieves. No, my demon. Give me back my diamond. I want my diamond. My diamond. But if you really want it that badly... Nah, I think I'll keep it. Ta-ta! That fiend! Dang, he's, uh, getting away. Go get him! Which we will do. Let's keep on drilling. And through this door we go. And another elevator, which I believe this elevator should take us to the boss of this area. If not, it should take us out, we'll recuperate and fight the boss in the next episode. One of the two. Nope, we're still in here, which means that the boss is coming up. I believe the music stopped. Hold on. Let me check. Yeah, the music is completely kaput now. Ah, I accidentally turned my volume loud enough. You probably heard that. Okay, that's loud enough, for sure. Uh, sorry, I turned my computer volume up a bit too much. Oh yeah, we're on the roof. This is the boss of the area. Are you ready? Hey, Shorty! Uh, I keep changing his voice. I need one. Hey, Shorty! I'm over here! <laughs> Who you calling Shorty, boy? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to stretch real quick. Oh, he's gonna try and beat me at my own game? Well, tough nuts, bro. Bro. Tough nuts, mu no, bro. Tough nuts, bro. If you want your precious diamond back, you'll have to beat me. Okay. I don't have much to worry about, because that will never happen. <laughs> Watch out for the Scorpion Dozer's wicked tail. You know that thing with the big drill on the end? When he uses that drill, give him a taste of his own awful medicine. I mean, isn't he technically giving us a taste of our own medicine? Yeah. So you have to shift up to third gear and able to do, enable in order to do damage to him. Come on, attack me again. And here we go. Yeah. What you gonna do? Uh, stay back. Okay. <laughs> I was already ready. Ah, uh, dang it. I let go a bit too early. Just throw another bomb and then slam your drill down. Or just slam your drill down first. Noise. <laughs> Noise. Sorry. <laughs> I can do the no- Noise. Ow. Either way. Ow. 
Okay. Now I feel bad. I feel like I done goofed up. I didn't... I did bad. Ah, not again. Stop hitting me. And... We hit him again. Then this last time, I want to make sure to already... Have my drill on second gear by the time he attacks. Dang it! No, I want to do it. I want to do it. Yes, I realize I'm down to three health, but still, I want to do it. I want to be up to second gear. Ah, uh, dang it. A bit too late. Okay, he drops his drill down around here. Yes! Was that not the cool coolest thing you've ever done seen in your life? <laughs> the coolest thing you ever darn see in your life! And he inches forward a bit. You got spunk, kid. I have to admire that. Sorry. You got spunk, kid. I have that. But all the spunk in the world isn't gonna save you now. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, hey! You know that red diamond I swiped from you? I figured out how to harness it. It's, it's awesome destructive power. Um. You mean it's a chaos emer- Oh. Oh, he has another phase. And boom! Into your mouth. That's what he said. Although I want to go with that what she said. Because Joe's a he. Yeah, this does all of your health in one attack. You really didn't think this through. Your second phase is technically easier. Now give me my diamond back. Oh. Oops. Oops, I stood right in front of that. Now give us our diamond back. Joe, why'd you walk away? That was pretty impressive, you fur pink-haired, ponytailed red dozer. Hey, you beat me, so I guess I have to give you back this red diamond. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. Like, I'm gonna go to the trouble of to steal it, only to give it away. <laughs> I mean, I could've just killed you. You realize that, right? Anyways, area 2 is cleared. Or, area 1-2 is cleared. And now we're back in the truck, and as usual, we're gonna jump out of our drill dozer in the most stylish way possible. And, oh no! After all that, crew ran off with our red diamond! And we're not gonna, and we're not gonna stop hunting him until we steal it back! Word on the street is, they are headed for the art gallery. Oh, some guy stopped by to visit. I'd never seen him before. Who was that? Oh, you don't know him? That's the old buddy of mine that runs this shop. You should grab as many chips as you can while you're roaming around. Then you can spend them at his shop to buy all kinds of great stuff. You can eat, um, you can buy energy tanks from him and use them to upgrade your drill dozer. So we could get more health, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this episode, guys. If you liked the video, uh, make sure to click the, the thumbs up at the bottom. That's the like button for those of you who are new to YouTube. And for those of you who aren't, I don't mean to insult you. You probably know what the like button is. Uh, comment. Uh, it, it does the body good, like milk does. And, uh, subscribe to my dibble. <laughs> subscribe. It's a very terrible phrase. Uh, but yeah, subscribe to my dibble. And I will see you guys in the next video. It is time for our adventure to take a break.